know that you are a member of the Foreign Relations Committee. Uh, the question is, what do you think is the top priority in terms of foreign affairs for the United States? I think the top priority for the country constitutionally, historically, and appropriately is defense of the country. That's what we're supposed to do in Washington. <clears throat> that being said, Reagan's motto was peace through strength. It wasn't war through strength. There are some, sometimes in our party, who mistake war for defense. And if you don't believe in eternal and perpetual war, it doesn't mean you don't believe in a strong national defense. And this is an important distinction. There are some in our party who wanted to give arms to Gaddafi, and then a year later wanted to give money to rebels to overturn Gaddafi. There's a certain inconsistency. I'm very worried about getting involved in a new war in Syria. And people say, well, Assad is such a bad guy. He is. But on the other side, we have Al-Qaeda and now Nusra. And then they say there are some pro-Western people, and they say, oh, we're going, to, we're going to vet them. Well, apparently, we've got a senator over there who had a picture taken with some kidnappers, so I don't know how good a job we're going to do vetting <laughs> those who are going to get the arms. So there's two ironies you have to overcome if you want to get involved in the war in Syria. The first irony is you will be allied with al-Qaeda. The second irony is most of the Christians are on the other side. So you may be arming Islamic rebels who may well be killing Christians. Does that make Assad a good person? No. I don't think there are any good people in this war. And there's some tragically innocent people who are going to be caught in the middle, but I just don't know that arming one side is going to make the tragedy any less. So I think we need to be careful and cautious. <laughs>